YouTube, it's your boy Jim and I, we're back from another video. So I'm gonna make this video here and be very clear with everybody, including Alliance Carbon. Now I'm hoping Alliance Carbon will see this, okay? So everybody, just be patient with me and, and try to get things together with this video here. So Alliance Carbon has got to email me back to me fast. So after I made the video, it, it wasn't live yet, but I was able to share it so other people can watch it in the uh, 370Z group form on Facebook. I guess he come across it and he saw the video, he saw the negative review on it, and he got to be back to me fast. So it made him email me back about the B pillars that I got from him. Obviously, those pictures are right here, which is the Alliance Carbon, bad fitment, no good. And I also went a second route of going to a different kind of way of finish these, finishing these B pillars on this one here as well. Now I'm guessing he's watching both of these videos already. Now, I wanna be honest with you guys, okay? Everything that I've done on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, the videos that I've done, everything came out of my pocket, in my wallet. I am not sponsored, I paid everything, my hard own, my hard working money on all these merchandise that I buy that I need or want. Now if I get a product, I'm gonna be very, very honest about it. Regardless if it's bad or good, pros and cons. What does it cost? Is it worth buying? What are the benefits and what are not the benefits of it, okay? So if you send me a bad product and I buy your stuff and it came out a bad review, don't blame me, okay? And the reason why I say this, I got an email saying that he said, I, why I do not appreciate that I bash his company. Now, speaking of that, as a business owner, if you QC your stuff, quick check, QC means quick check, QC your stuff a hundred times or a thousand times, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. We wouldn't be having this kind of argument about the B players in the first place of a bad video. Now, if you send me a good product and a perfect fitment, a perfect quality, I'm gonna highly recommend to other people and other people that are watching my videos and also to my subscribers as well. You cannot say that why I should, you don't appreciate that I bash your company because you send me a bad product. And the reason why the cups in the back that hold up the pillar that mounts onto the car was not fully cured. That is not my fault. That is not my, uh, that is your, that is Alliance Carbon's job to QC to make sure it's cured before you send it out to the customer. Sorry guys, I got a neighbor here that's really drunk and he's really cuckoo and he's saying a lot of bad words over there, so ignore that. Anyhow, as I was saying, now, as a business owner, as a business owner, if you check your stuff and triple, triple, triple check your stuff and make sure the fitment's good, you know, take it off, make, fix the error, fix the issue, take that, put it back in the car, make sure the fitment's good, make sure the quality's good, take it off, check it again, put it back in the car, take it off, check it again, put it back in the car, make sure everything looks good, make sure everything is fine before you, before it's cured and before you put it in a box and ship it out to the customer. And the reason why I say this is that if you QC your stuff or hire more employees to help with your business, okay, it will make things a lot easier. And the reason why I say this, if you send a bad product and the person, and the, and the person is not really happy with the product, you gonna have to pay for a shipment back for the merchandise that you sold him to fix the issue after fixing the issue or get a brand new pair or the brand new product, wrap it up again, put it out of box and send it out to the customer again for the, the one that you made a mistake. You get what I'm saying? If you QC your stuff in the first place, you won't have to worry about all the other stuff, okay? And making sure the product's good, the fitment's good, the quality of the product is good. It saves you a lot of headache and a lot of hassle. What you're doing is that when you're not QCing your stuff and double checking the fitment and making sure all the clips are all dried up and fully cured, okay, even though you work in a cold environment, okay, get a heat gun, heat it up, make sure it's fully cured. If you have to wait another week or two weeks to make sure it's fully cured, then wait one or two more weeks fully, fully cured before you send it out. Because when customers get the product and you have to pay for shipping it to get it back, to fix the issue or get a new pair and send it back out to the customer again so he can be happy about it. When the customer's happy, they come back and buy more stuff from you. 
they buy more stuff from your company. That way, how you make more money. But if you don't QC your if you don't QC your stuff, and then you send out a bad product, and you're gonna blame the customer for doing a bad review, and then they don't want to buy your stuff anymore, that's on you. Now, if you get a stuff, and then Mason, hey. Now, if you you're working double, okay. If you send out a bad product, you have to take care of that customer and get that product back to fix it, right? That costs you time and money. When you wrap up a brand new pair or fix the issue, wrap it up and ship it back to the customer, that wastes your more of your money, more of your time, and you work double. So instead of making one pair of sets, now you gotta make another pair of sets to fix the issue, so you're doing more work than normal. When you do more work than normal to fix all the repairs that you have messed up on the bad product of shipping it to the customer, it puts the other customers, new customers that order your product, pushed behind. All your orders are gonna be pushed behind and behind and behind. It goes further and further and further and further. Why? Because you're trying to correct all your mistakes and all the bad fitment issues that you have with your merchandise. Regardless if it's B pillars, carbon fiber fenders, the trunk, the hood, whatever. Wherever the case may be, you have to check your stuff. You have to check your product before you set it out. When you do QCs like this and you double check your work, you don't want to have to worry about your orders or coming in from new customers be pushed behind and your work double. So now you sell me a bad product and ask a complaint, I email you and you want me to send it back. Oh, of course, you're going to pay for it to send me to send it back to you, fix the issue and then send it back again. That's more work for you. Why would you do that? You're working double, triple to the shift just to make a living. Why would you do that? So if you want a good company name, double, uh, you know, instead of someone trying to bash your company, which I wasn't trying to, all I said was, you'd be lucky enough if you get a good product or not. Some are good, some are bad, but good luck. It used to be, you know, Alliance Carpet used to be a really good company. Now, I don't know, okay? You get lucky if you buy fenders or B pillars or whatever the case would be, if it's a good fitment or not. So. If they you get a good if you get a good one, then the, the, the they did a good job, then you're good. They probably did a lot of QCs on that product. But all the other ones that are maybe bad fitment or bad quality product, they probably did QC it. So obviously mine wasn't QC. You send me a bad product, there you go. Got a bad video. Okay? Every time I do a video, it's always honest opinion answers. Regardless if it's good, regardless if it's bad. Now you got customers from all over the world okay buying from alliance carbon new customers or returning customers from oregon california new york tennessee kentucky atlanta georgia down in florida down in utah up in utah wyoming nebraska you got customers all over the all over the world all over the u.s are buying your stuff okay you don't know one of them could be a YouTuber and do a bad video or a good video for you. You just don't know. So that, in order to prevent that from happening, if Alliance Carbon will QC their stuff, quick check their stuff, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. We wouldn't have this kind of conversation and dealt with the problem in the first place. But if you QC your stuff and make sure the fitment is good and the back of the the back of the back of the clips are cured before you set up the customer. You will work less and you will be on time with all the orders of new customers coming in. Just nature of the business. Now, Josh, when me and him talk back and forth on email, he does not he does not know that I am a business owner. I am a business owner myself until I mentioned him at the very last email that I sent him. And believe me or not, see that rig right there? That's mine. That's my business. That's where all my money coming from, is from that rig. Okay? All my living expense, all my bills paid, all my hobbies, money coming from that truck. I have to take care of this truck, number one. This is my top priority for anything else. This is one here that makes me make my money right here. My business, okay? So I know what it's like to be a business owner. I am a CEO of my business. You know what CEO stands for? Chief Executive Officer of my business. I am the owner of my business, okay? And so I email him that he he quiet. He doesn't know that I'm that I'm a, uh, that I am a business owner or, and a YouTuber. He doesn't know that until you saw my video. What's going on YouTube? This is Gibraltar G7. This is your boy Beacon. 
building products, okay? This is where you're building materials. Now, they got their own trucks too, on a flatbed, they bring it to the new industrial homes that are getting built and processed, and the people that had contracts to do the housing and all that, buy, use this company here to, uh, to buy their product and deliver the product to that location so they can start building the stuff for the house. So that either homes, apartments, big, you know, big, a big uh, lot to them, okay? What I haul in my truck, my rig, I'm tired by the way, because it's drizzling rain out here, but I got a whole bunch of plywood that needs to be covered. It cannot get wet. If this plywood gets wet, it turns the mold and it damages the product. Over here, look, they're getting loaded up with roof materials and they're doing their own thing. See, you got loose to everywhere. Look at that. See it? We do the part of bringing the merchandise to this company here so they make money, we make money, supply and demand, brother. See that? Supply and demand. Peace, I'm out. Plywood. This right here come from Corrigan, Texas. There was two right here, he took it off already. I was simply untarping and rolling my straps. Then he got the other two off. Oh, now they got three of you guys on here. That's good, let's go. Vamos, we gotta go. Wood gets wet, that plywood is gonna go bad. Real quick, it don't take long. And don't forget you guys, if you deliver a lumber load like this and it gets damaged, it gets wet damage, it's gonna cost you about four or five thousand dollars to for the damages. Keep that in mind. So if you owner uppers out there hauling flatbed, you're hauling lumber, if it's grade two, three, uh grade one, two, and three, you better type if it rains. Grade four, don't worry about it. They're cheap wood. But grade one is the best wood you can get. This one here is probably grade number two. Right here, this one here. But it's plywood, it gets a little, it gets molded real easy when it gets wet. Peace, guys. But when he saw the bad video, he got back to me two days after that. And he saw the bad video. Two days after that, he sent me an email saying that I bashed his company. No, no, no. You send me a bad product, I'm gonna do either a good video or a bad video. Whatever, anything that I buy, it doesn't matter if it's this, B pillars. It can be the hood, the fender, uh, batteries for my truck, batteries for my car, the wheels that I buy, if it's good or bad. I, anything that I buy, I do a video on when I can, okay? Now, we're gonna go through this email here, and I took a lot of screenshots of this video here, and I'm gonna read them to you, and you tell me, and you, you be the witness, and you be the judge of that, okay? So here's one right here, the very first video from Josh. Hi, I am sorry I did not respond to the second email. It got lost in the email box. As stated in the first place, email back to you. We can absolutely fix the clip fitment issue. It's possible that when we place the clips on it, it was cold outside and it was not fully cured before, before we boxed the pillars for shipment and the clips moved slightly. I will send a return label now and you can box it, drop it off at the post office. I do not appreciate you bashing my brand saying how all of our products are no good. The clips may have been misaligned on this part. I'll take that blame for it. But we make four sets of pillars a day. And, and it's possible that we make mistakes. We're human, which I don't understand. But like I said, again, QC your stuff. Quick check your product, the fenders, the hood, whatever you make, you're gonna make it yourself. Anything you sell, you don't even have to be cars, it can be anything else. You have to check your stuff. Take the damn thing off, check it, make sure everything is good, make sure everything is fully cured, put it back on the car, make sure the fitment's good, make sure the quality of the product's good, take it off, look at it again, make sure everything's good again, put it back in the car. Do that 50 times, 100 times, 1,000 times. I don't care. How long it fits good and it's cured. Mason! You're gonna get it, boy. Hey! Stop. I'm making a video right now. 
okay? So if you were to QC your stuff and check your stuff over and over and over again, putting on the car, taking it off, putting on the car, taking it off, putting on the car, taking it off, and checking and checking and checking, we wouldn't have this conversation. We wouldn't be in a, this, we wouldn't be in a bad situation in the first place. You wouldn't have a, a, a other bad customer complaints about your company if you would accuse your stuff, okay? Junker over there next door. Anyhow, um, when you remove the pillars, you're doing it wrong. That's why you broke your OEM pillars as well of, of our pillar clips. You need to start from the middle section and with a passive removal tool and work your way to the top and the bottom carefully. That's what I've been doing. I take my prying tool, start from the middle, top, bottom, done. As the back of the clips break, they break. Nothing I can do. Next email, this is what I sent out. I've been removing the middle, top, and bottom of the pillars. It's still broke, but it's all right. I went a different route on B pillars. It's already done. I will ship up. I will ship out the ones that you sent me this weekend on the next fall, upcoming weekend when I have free time, and do the return on my purchase, please. That's all I said. So, hold on a second. So, you know, on my third, on my second video that I made, these are evil, evil R pillars. They're just covers. They're not the whole entire pillar itself. It's just a cover over the OEM. So, that's why I said I went a second, the different second route, and I'll add the first video about the Alliance Carbon video and the Evil R video of these pillars right here covered. The bottom video, there will be two links at the bottom so you can watch them whenever you want, okay? We want the next email. Even if the clips got removed, the top portion of the B pillars is still short and the thin on the driver's side was still bad. That's why I sent them. The pillar is not, and this is what he sent me back. The pillar is not too short. The clip was just not pro positioned properly the thinment was not properly because uh, was not properly because of the clip movement. Both pillars are exactly the same as the OEM pillars. OEM pillars have the rubber gasket around the pillar. You can swap yours over the OEM set. He's telling me about the uh, the, the gasket right here in the back of the pillar. You can move them to the Alliance Carbon, which I didn't do. But the most important part was the fitment. Now, this is what I sent out to him, Mason. Hey. You do that again, you're going inside, man. I'm doing a video, man. This is what I said to him. I also want to mention when I do a review, I give you my I give my honest opinion on what I get or got. Not your your not just your stuff on everything that I buy. Like I said, everything that I buy out of my own wallet, I always do review on it. I am not sponsored. No one paid me to do it. It's not a paid advertisement. This is my honest review. I always give my honest review, regardless if it's good, bad pros and cons about them okay not just your stuff on everything that i buy i'm not the only person that got this bad experience as well as other 370z owners out there i want to i want to buy a honeycomb carbon fiber finish from the company but how am i going to do that when i got a bad product when i buy when i bought the b pillars and it came out bad payment on the driver's side so if, you, if i sold your product and it's bad would you come back and buy it from me again no that's all I was trying to tell with this short I say to Alliance Carbon, check your shit. Take it off, make sure it's good, put it back on. Check the fitment, check the clips are still good. Make sure they're fully cured. Take it off, look at it again. If it's messed up, fix the issue. Put it back on, take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. Triple, 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 check your stuff. QC your stuff, quick check your stuff. We wouldn't even have this conversation in the first place if you did your job. Okay, the B pillar cost three hundred twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Just imagine me buying fitness from your company and it had a bad fitment issue and it would cost over a grand. Of course, the fitter, of course, carbon fiber fenders or honeycomb carbon fibers cost over a grand. I, I want the honeycomb carbon fiber fibers. They cost about fourteen hundred dollars or more. If I were to get a bad fitment on this and the and then I want to buy carbon fiber fenders from your company and I had a bad fitment on this and that cost. $329 for this one here and that one costs over $1,400. You think I want to buy it from you again if, if, if it was a bad fit me? Of course I wouldn't. This is common sense. It's, you know, in order to keep a good reputation of the company, QC your stuff, check your stuff before you set it, box it and send it out to your customer. QC a hundred times, QC a thousand times. I don't care. As long as you get it right to the nail, right to the very bottom line before you send it out to the customer. 
That keeps you from doing double the work, saves you time, saves you money, and less work for you, and you keep up with the orders that are coming in from newer customers or returning customers in the future. It doesn't push you back from your order, but it is what it is. It does how he does it. That's how I would do it if I was a business owner, okay? If I had his company, okay? I would be really upset and pissed off as well. Let me say this, let's switch sides and I am your company and you're the buyer and I sold you the stuff and it was bad then. Would you like that? No, you wouldn't like that. How would you feel about it? You would be upset. I would be upset. Of course you'd be upset and you spend your hard working, uh, hard working money on the products that I sold to you. So if I was a company and I sold you a bad product, how would you feel? Would you like that? I wouldn't like that. So why do it? You get what I'm saying? You feel me? QC your stuff, checking your stuff, make sure everything's good before you send it out. You don't just do it and then try to do it in a hurry and then ship it out. There's, there's no good. Hey, stop. So this is his email return. I'm sorry you had a bad experience, but I, resp I respond to you saying that we could fix it for you, no problem. Then the next email you sent got lost in the hundreds of other emails I get. That's my mistake, truly. The fenders all fit 100%. The same, they are made from the same mold and then the holes are drilled with the jig we have. The fenders are the easiest product we have to install. I understand that you're upset at our mistake, but we are here to make it right and fix the part we do this for customers that have issues with our parts and your stuff. Like I said, QC your stuff, okay? If you quick check your stuff and make sure everything is good, putting it on the car, take it off, check it, put it on the car, take it off, check it, put it on the car, I don't care you do it a thousand times. You do that, it saves you a lot of hassle on time. Same thing with those fenders. You put the fenders on, you check it, make sure everything's good, make sure it's not off, take it off. Check all around the fenders. If the fender looks good, put it back on the fender. Put the fender back on the car. Check it again. Make sure everything's good. Take it off. Check it again. Everything looks good, put it back on. For the last time, put it back on. Look on again. See if it's having any, have any issues. No cracks, nothing good? Okay, take it off. Now, box it up, wrap it up, and ship it to the customer. If you do that, and have and do more QC checks on your product, it will save you money, time, hassle-free, and less work instead of doing triple and double the work and make your other new orders push behind from doing that. If you QC your stuff, you'll be on top of your orders and faster on your orders than worry about your old orders and fixing the issue in the first place. This is what I said. Now, when I sent this email, he does not know I'm a, I'm a business owner. I have high hopes of your company and your product. And even though I hear good and very bad about your products, I still came to you. I gave you my money and buy your stuff. You feel me? I work hard every day. I am a business owner as well, just like you. But me, I make the world go around as a truck driver, as you guys can see. Supply and demand. But when I got my order, I was expecting everything good and a smooth process and do a video as I always do. I always give my honest answer and opinion regardless pros and cons about them. I am really upset about it. it cost me time and money as well. In the future, if I decide to buy your fenders, I'll hit you up. As for right now, I just want to do a return and get my money back. So I'm really thankful for that. And then they're very nice of getting the, you know, return the product and get my money back. At least I don't have to lose, lose $329 off of this product and actually get my money back. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, hold on a second. So, it, you know, that's all I have to say. I mean, you guys, I show you the email, you guys read them as I'm reading with you guys. I mean, as a business owner, man, you gotta, you gotta be on top of your game. Change your method of how you do things and make the pod make these a lot a lot more easier for you. QC your stuff, check in the fitment, make sure everything's good, make sure there's no cracks, there's no dent. When you wrap up your stuff, make sure it is safe for package 
to be delivered. It's going to move. You also got to think about how well you're going to package your stuff. Because when a customer also receives your stuff as carbon fiber parts as well, it cracks, broken uh, the uh, broken tabs, there's web cracks everywhere in the carbon fiber. Ain't nobody going to like that either. How you wrap up your merchandise and deliver it to the customer also is also important as well. You got to double check your work. Okay, check your stuff, check your fenders, check your hood before you make a final product. When you box and wrap it, double check and triple check on how you're gonna wrap it and make sure that that's not gonna crack and that's not gonna move. Because when you ship out a product, it's gonna go from one truck to another truck to another truck to a delivery truck and that delivery truck is gonna go to that customer's house. Hold on a second. As I was saying, Sorry, I keep cutting it out because a lot there's a lot of people are in, the, in the neighborhood. They're banging a lot of music and have loud exhaust as well, so they need to interrupt my video. You guys want to hear it and stay what I said. I don't get those videos out. Anyhow, if Elias Carbon would have checked their stuff and checked for fitment issues and all that stuff, and ship and how to package the stuff very well and deliver it to the customer, he wouldn't be pushed back so back further and further and further and be behind on new orders from new customers as well. He needs to change his method of how he do things. How he run his business right now, that's his business, it got nothing to do with me. But that's my opinion, that's how I would do it if I would have had his business. Now, again, he does not know I was a business owner until I send that last email and I show him that I am a business owner as well with my rig, okay? So, wanna be clear about that. If he's watching the video, I hope he understands. I'm not trying to bash your company, but if you send me a bad product, and I am a YouTuber, a YouTube uh, video editor, a YouTuber as well, and I do a bad review on it, you can't blame the person that did the video, because you sent a bad product. That's on you, man, not on me, okay? So I hope everybody's squared away, everybody's straight, everybody watching the video, you know, everybody's understand. That's how I would've done it. If you get this video, and you watch this video, and hopefully it gets more, um, uh, ideas on how to run his business better, great, okay? Probably said his business too, okay? They're really doable. I mean, he's trying to get my money back, get the term return product, great. I'm, 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 happy, I'm happy with that. But everything else, the future product, would I go out and buy again? I don't know, no. we'll see. Until I until I see things are getting better with him, of a lot of his product, and because we're buying, I have, have really good stuff and have no problem with fitment and no delivery problems or cracking and webbing and all that, I may buy finish from them, but we'll see, you know? But if you buy Last Carbon, good luck to you. You know, if it, you get a good one, you get a good one. You get a bad one, you get a bad one. You know, it is what it is. That's all right now, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope this information helps you out. Please share the video with everybody else you know that owns the 370Z or in the 370Z form. Please give me a thumbs like. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification down, the bell down below. Every Friday is always a new video. Stay tuned on that. I want to throw a reminder at 15 subscribers to do a giveaway. At 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to do another giveaway. So that's all right now, guys. You guys have a wonderful weekend. That's all I have to say. Peace. I'm out.